Hi friends, in this video we are going to learn how to search an element in an array. First we have an array of size 5 or we have an array of 5 elements. Here we are checking if 5 is present in the array or not. So search key is 5. So what we are going to do is we will compare all the values in the array with the search key. If the key and element in the array are the same, then search is found, else search is not found. So let us start from index 0. First we compare 1 with 5, but it is not the same, so we move to the next element. Now we compare 20 with 5. Again, it is not the same, so we move to the right. Take the element and compare with key 5. It is the same. So the search element 5 is found in the array. So this is how it is done. Now let us see what happens if the key is not present in the array. So again we have an array of size 5 and here the search key is 100. Now we will start comparing the key and the elements in the array. So let us start from index 0. So 1 will be taken and compared with 100. It is not the same. So we move to the next element. Take 20 and compare with 100. Again it is not the same. So we move to the right. Take 5 and compare with 100. Again, it's not the same value. So we move to the right and take 78 and compare with 100. Again, not the same. So we move to the right, compare 30 with 100. Still, we are unlucky. It's not the same value. And there are no more elements in the array now. An array is completely visited and 100 was not found. Now let us see the code for implementing this program. So we have the function search to do this job. And we are passing the array, the size of the array and the key to be searched into the function. Here we have an array of size 5. So the variable size will be holding value 5. And we are searching for element 5. So the variable key will also be holding value 5. The for loop is used to traverse the array and each element will be compared with key. And if a match is found, break the loop. Otherwise continue for all the elements in the array. So let us see how this works. First we have i equal to 0 and 0 is less than 5. So condition is true. So compare 1 and 5 and the comparison returns a false. Now i is incremented and becomes 1. Now 1 is less than 5. So condition is true. So compare 20 and 5. The comparison returns a false. Now i is incremented and becomes 2. Now 2 is less than 5. So condition is true. So compare 5 and 5. Now the comparison returns a true and it will come out of the for loop and returns 1 and the search is found. Now let us see the second case if the key is not present in the array. The array is same with size 5 but the search key is 100 here. So first we have i equal to 0 and 0 is less than 5 so condition is true. So compare 1 and 100 and the comparison returns a false. Now i is incremented and it becomes 1. Now 1 is less than 5 so condition is true. So compare 20 and 100 the comparison returns a false and i becomes 2. Now 2 is less than 5 so condition is true again. So compare 5 and 100 again the comparison is returning a false. Now i is incremented and it becomes 3. Now 3 is less than 5. So condition is true. So compare 78 and 100 and the comparison returns a false. Now i is incremented and it becomes 4. Now 4 is less than 5. So condition is true. So compare 30 and 100. The comparison returns a false and i is incremented and it becomes 5. Now i equal to 5 and when we check if i is less than 5, the condition is false. So it will come out of the loop and returns minus 1 and the search is not found. So this is how it works. Now let us talk about the time complexity. The best case will be when the key is present in the first position of the array. Then the for loop will only work for one time and break after this one iteration. So the best case time complexity will be order of 1. And the worst case will be when the key is present in the last position of the array. That is, if you have an array of 5 elements and the key is present in the 5th position, then the for loop will have 5 iterations. So the time complexity will be order of 5. 
And generally, if you have n elements, you need n iterations and the worst case time complexity will be order of n. So thank you for watching the video and to execute more such programs, please visit the link in the description below.